Most people who live in the developed world have a morning routine that starts off something like this. Chances are you're so used to the sounds that you've completely forgotten they're even there. But for over a billion people in the world, their morning doesn't sound anything like this. Instead, it starts off like this. The sound of footsteps walking, and walking, and walking. To find water at a source they can only hope is clean or safe. They can't even begin to imagine that a morning could sound like this, without any of this. So the next time your morning starts like this, take a moment to think about a young girl named Gladys. Her day in Sierra Leone begins much differently than yours. First, Gladys sweeps the yard of trash, leaves, and twigs. When she's done, it's time to wash the dishes and take a bath. And that wouldn't be a hard beginning if she had this to start her day. But she doesn't. And so before she can do any of these chores, Gladys has to find water to fill her bucket. While that might be as easy as for you and me, for Gladys it takes quite a few more steps. And steps. And steps. Now, before you start thinking that Gladys' story is entirely hopeless, take a look at where all those steps used to lead her. But today, Gladys' footsteps take her to a much cleaner place. Her story is becoming one of progress, which people like you helped create. Unlike previous years when there were no working pumps anywhere in her community, and people drew water from any place they could find it. Today, there is a fresh water well waiting at her school. The Water Project works through partners to bring clean, safe water to entire communities. Here in Sierra Leone, they work first at the local school, making sure it has access to safe water and good toilets. In the hot tropical sun, kids can quickly become dehydrated and unable to focus in school. If they're drinking from a stream, they're often too sick to stay in class. But thanks to the help of people like you, the children at the school are on their way to unlocking all kinds of potential. Along with their new well, kids are also taught important lessons about hygiene, which they then take back home to their families. <laughs> After the school has a well, the water project moves into the surrounding villages, focusing where students like Gladys live. Oftentimes, there are broken down wells that can be repaired and water restored much closer to home. What kind of potential could we unlock if we helped reduce waterborne diseases by installing more wells? What can be done when all that wasted time fetching water far from home is returned? Would fathers be able to work more in their fields? Could mothers invest more in their families? Or kids spend more time in class and studying? We may not be able to predict exactly what everyone will do when we provide this. But what we do know is that providing a source of clean, safe water is only the beginning. When you support the water project, you'll be providing so much more than clean water. You will unlock potential. You'll help restore hope. And for girls like Gladys, you'll help accomplish things only she can imagine. And together, we'll watch as water comes and everything changes. <laughs>